Good morning, welcome back to week 23 of our bank version. Oh my god, there's a giant spider in the window. Anyway, getting distracted by spiders. Oh, that one moved. Uh, so today's plan for me is to start the bulkhead cabinet. Laz is on project shower, so he's done a lot of research this week and I believe he's ordered everything we need. So hopefully he should be able to show you that on Saturday. Anyway, um, but you, you might not care about this, but I quite like it. We tidied the shed. <laughs> We bought these containers from Wilco's. I think they're like a tenner each. This is what we were explaining to you the other week where we had like stuff all along the shelf. Now we've just put everything into these little containers. So I'm just going to label them this morning because now we can't actually find where things are, which is typical Cass and Laz. So I'm just going to whack some labels on those and then get into the van. 20 minutes later. And just like that, we have labels. It just looks much nicer, all in there, all tidy, so much easier to find than all over this shelf. And the same with like the drill heads. They were all living just in the toolbox or where the drill lives. So now all neat and tidy. My plan, I think, is to do this bit along here, just because it's something that I have been putting off. So it'd be quite nice to get get it done while Laz is doing this, because my next step was going to be this, the base and everything. I can't do the base because we need this, the second shower wall in. When you're doing a van, you'll soon figure out that it's like a puzzle, a very big puzzle piece because we can't do that before you do that but you can't do that before you do that yeah you get the gist so i'm going to crack on with this bit today get a template it kind of figure out the best way around it we are going to have to cut these screws i don't know if you can see it's quite dark but these screws down and then we kind of need to play around with how thick we want it down the side anyway i'm going to crack on with that today and then we'll figure out what else we need to do Right, so I started scribing and then realised, I thought, right, I've got this edge all the way along now. I wasn't going to bother scribing like this shape. I started to. I think it's probably just easier if I cut this shape in the ply and then this bit and then straight down and then do it because obviously the cardboard's so flimsy. I'd rather just get that bit and then we can use the, that trim you know, this leftover piece at somewhere else. But then I went to measure all the ply and we don't have a piece long enough. The only piece we've got is Laz's shower wall and don't think he'd be impressed if I used that. Um, I was then going to do this bit, but I kind of want to get these end bits first and then join it up rather than doing it the other way around. I think it's probably just going to be easier. So that job is on hold. Um, I should probably check these things before it comes to the day. But, oops, <laughs> we are going to go get it in a bit, but I probably won't get it done today because the sun is setting rather quickly in the evening, so it will have to be a job for another day. And we will catch you on Saturday, i.e. in a second, to get on with the shower. Alright guys, welcome back. So, it's shower time. Got the sandy cloud delivered. Finally, a massive sheets. Free, we got three sheets, two and a half mil for about 120 quid, I think, including delivery. I got some of this trim because I've been trying to figure out how we're gonna do our custom shower tray for the toilet. So I'll give you guys a demo of this. But before we can get into the sunny cloud stuff, I need to tidy up some of the shower stuff. So before we can get into the PVC sheets, I had to run the heater pipe underneath and into the cupboard. Ow! I need to get used to having this shower. So I had to run this here and it will come out here with a little vent. I haven't installed that yet, but I will. I've been having loads of dilemmas about where we want to have this come out. It would be better if it was near the door because that's the coldest point, but 
I don't want to run this all the way through there. We haven't got room in there to run it through the relarch because of this situation. I think we're going to have it here and hopefully that's going to be fine. We're going to do the floor first and once I uh, seal the floor, we won't be able to get back in there. So that's in. I don't think we need to run anything else. We need to install the shower tray, PVC this whole bottom half, which I will show you soon. But before we do that, I need to fix this wall in properly. So we have this batten up, but here on this side, it's only screwed down at the bottom. I'm gonna batten this out with one of these. I'm gonna run one vertically and connect everything together. So we will be able to fix the shower mixer to it and everything else. So I'm gonna crack on battening this out and then we can crack on with this fun stuff. So what's the plan? Alrighty, so we've got this middle batten up. This thing worked out pretty well. What I had to do is I added these little notches, which is basically, I just cut a bit of this off. So it's the same spacing along the wall. Cause you kind of want all of these to be in line, obviously for the other ply to go on top. And then I just added this uh, cross beam, which is where we should have our shower mixer. I think it's the right, height i don't know it's one of those things that you think about forever like oh is it the right height where do i want how high do i want the shower mixer so i think that should be fine and now we need to move on to the shower tray first thing first i need to install a little drain pipe and sick of flex it and then we need to cut a hole in there and make sure that it fits and we're not hitting anything right so got this extra long shower tray waist thing comes with a little rubber grommet and a little twisty thing so time to get it installed problem is is the hole on my shower tray is too slightly very slightly too small so to solve that problem i've got 51 mil also luckily we already had it i put that on there it fits perfectly so let's give it a go well that wasn't too bad just very low pressure and I think it's fine. I think it's not perfectly in the middle, but <laughs> we go through it, yay. And now I got some Sikaflex sanitary silicone, which is like mold resistant and whatever. I don't know, Greg Virgo recommended it. Basically I'm using the same thing as Greg Virgo. So we're gonna Sikaflex on the bottom, plop that on and we should be good to go. So let's go and cut the hole. I'm dreading it, because if it's in the wrong place, we're absolutely screwed. So, let's see what happens. Oh my God. I so hope this is not screwed, dude. Here we are, guys, the moment of truth. Oh, yes. Oh, you can't see. We are good. Perfect, thank God. Because if this didn't fit right, then we would probably have to get a new shower tray. So, now we can drill the big hole. Why did I stick that in there? No, I can't pull it out. <sighs> this is getting really tight in here. Ugh. Woo! We got a massive hole in the van. Oh my god. So I think we should be fine. Let's check it from underneath. All right, guys, here we are. That's where it is. We've got plenty of uh, clearance between the exhaust, so I think we should be good. We are almost ready. we got a hole. I'll have to glue the thing on there at some point. But while I just put some underbody sealant around the hole and inside, so we need to wait for that to dry. While that's drying, I put the wooden panels back on. I haven't screwed this one back down yet because we need to do the PVC floor. But the thing is, how do we join the two PVC panels up is what's been bothering me for ages. And I think I found a solution. From the same website where we got the panels from, you can get these things. 
which is a trim it's two part there's a bottom this is the bottom piece and this is the top piece what you do clips together like this and you put one panel there and one panel there and if you can see let me zoom in there is a little cavity here where we can put sycophlex we're basically gonna cut PVC here and then we'll have one that goes all the way along here and then we'll use this to connect them so let me just put that down there for you so you can see here roughly what's going to look like this guy will go like that and then the PVC which will be a big square will clip in there so what I need to do now is somehow very precisely cut this shape out and then cut that shape out this is the mission that I'm dreading and we need to crack on Alrighty, so I just finished scribing this piece of template. It's really nice and neat, and I got it really nice and close everywhere. Um, it's pretty tricky, but I first scribed off this end and then scribed that end. But yeah, super happy with this. And now we ju I just need to template that side, which I'm gonna do the exact same thing, just cardboard and template along there. And then we should be ready to cut the PVC stuff. Woo! Alright guys, so it's the end of the day now and I finally finished scribing the last piece. I took my time with this one, that's for sure. But I wanted to get it as accurate as possible. So hopefully, if we can get the PVC cut to this <laughs> precision, we should be good to go. Super happy with this and tomorrow we just need to cut the PVC, start gluing things down, wait for the paint to dry at the bottom. We should be able to get the bottom bit installed. We also need to cut the trims, get everything joined together, make sure it's watertight. So yeah, today is a success and we'll catch you tomorrow. Whee! All right, good morning guys. So, I'm all by myself again. Last night I didn't record it because I just remembered after pizza time I glued this bad boy with the sticker flex uh, on the top and on the bottom so they should be all cured now and next up we need to cut the PVC stuff from uh, the templates that I made last night so let's crack on with that so we're finally set up I drew a line basically I measured the max length that we're gonna have for the walls which is like 180 centimeters so I'm gonna chop this off and then we're gonna use this for the tray and then I got some brand new uh, jigsaw jigsaw <laughs> brain fart is it jigsaw I got some new blades from BNQ three of them tiny little teeth so hopefully this will work i don't know yet we're gonna test it and hopefully i don't have to hand saw it i saw people using clippers and some people are using the saw so i don't know we'll see let's find out Cool, so now that this baby's cut out, we just need to transfer my templates and cut it out again. And hopefully I can be as precise as the template. We'll find out. How do I make sure this doesn't move? Ah. So there's that piece. I think I'll start with that and worry about the big piece after. All right, so I just finished cutting the first piece. It fits really well, I'll show you that later. But I just wanna show you this. There is this white plastic stuff everywhere when you're cutting with the jigsaw. I've been trying to hoover it out with the, as I go along with the hoover but I think what I'm gonna do is the PVC sheets came in this big plastic bag so I'm gonna lay that down because it's really hard to hoover it up from the grass and I don't want all these like microplastics getting everywhere so I'm gonna lay that big sheet down and hopefully that will catch most of it and I'll try to hoover more of it as I go along but yeah it's pretty annoying so maybe that's a positive of the little manual clippy thing but it's two and a half mil PVC and we can cut 
the jigsaw cuts it really easily. So I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm gonna lay that down and hopefully that will catch most of it. Bit. We are pretty nice and close. If anything, we're a bit too tight. So I purposely left this overhang so I can draw underneath and cut it. I'm slightly too big, but I think it's sendable. See like around here where we're too tight. I'm gonna mark it with a pen and then slowly start sending these bits off. But yeah, this is coming along well. I'm gonna tidy this up, make sure everything fits well, and then we'll get on with the trim. All right, you guys, so I just finished having lunch and I finished cutting the first trim and I'm in a bit of a pickle, let me show you. Here is the trim that we're gonna ignore the green is gonna be white, it's a little protective thing. But as you can see, now I'm a bit too long. And the reason why is because if I take this trim off, you can see that where this piece slots into, we have about a five mil between the two pieces. And obviously the way I cut it is that it sits like that. So I messed that one up. That's something I didn't account for. So all I'm gonna have to do is measure like five mil and cut this five mil shorter. And then we should fit. And then this will go on top and we'll stick a flex the underneath this and it should make it watertight fingers crossed all right you guys so i'm almost there this has been very painful doing the trims but i'm there let me show you where they're at trims are in it looks really nice and neat as you can see the joins are all nice and tight so i'm really happy with that but blimey this has been difficult so let me break it down to you so I just remove the top trims and here it is with just the bottom trims now you know when i told you that i had to trim uh an extra six mil off for this little thing to be able to fit so i've done that but then i had this problem so let me just show you here are my two demo pieces imagine this is that and that one is the horizontal so if you just put them up next to each other like this then you're obviously gonna have a problem with this trim because there's nothing to go into there. I removed the shout tray so you can see what's going on. Here is this panel. If I remove that, then you can just see the trim. So there it is. So I cut a little notch out and then I cut the squares out of this. So now that sits in there nice and even and then the trims can go on it nicely. And obviously I need, I had to be pretty precise and stuff. So I've been taking my time, but yeah, really happy how this is working out. I think it's gonna work. I just got across my fingers. There's gonna be watertight. So I don't know, this is the plan. This is what we're doing. It's a little custom shower tray basically. And hopefully it's gonna work out and we can crack on with the walls.